So this is a story that I wrote about dignity. As we all know, the overarching theme of the current reign has been dignity. Always dignity. <laughs> so this story involves audience participation, as you may have guessed already. So whenever I hold my arm aloft as such, you shall repeat, Dignity, always dignity. Always dignity. Thank you. This is a story about a tournament. <clears throat> Two newly minted knights, Jacob and Kieran, were especially excited to participate in their first ever tournament. They were the greatest of friends, but as poor up-and-coming knights, they didn't have enough money between them to pay for horses to ride. The tournament was several days' walk away from their humble <coughs> village, but Jacob and Kieran comported themselves with... Dignity! Always dignity! So they strapped their armor and weapons to their cart, and pulling it between them, began the long journey east toward the tournament. Along the way, they talked about how they'd split the prize money between them, and the glamorous things they'd buy. Jacob very much wanted to purchase a horse so he didn't have to pull this cart all the way home. <laughs> Kieran was about to say what he wanted when a raven swooped down from a nearby tree and landed on a spear handle sticking out of their cart. Startled, Jacob <coughs> grabbed the spear and whipped it out of the cart, clocking Kieran in the head while he was at it. Kieran, of course, was armed to the teeth with... Dignity! Always dignity! So he clenched his teeth, rubbed the pole-shaped imprint on his brow, and continued on. It wasn't long before a bruise started to form, but out of respect, Jacob did not inform Kieran of the risible nature of his appearance. Before long, it was dark, and camp had to be made. They built a small fire, sang songs of kingdom tournaments, past and future, and laid down to sleep. In the morning, setting out again, Jacob maintained a sharp lookout for further trail obstructions, able to see far down the road with his keen eyesight. This eyesight, however, did not do him any favors when it came to the discarded bucket that he stepped in a few hours later. <laughs> Somehow his boot became so wedged in the buckets that it could not be extracted, not even by two strong knights. But Jacob had... Dignity! Always dignity! He continued walking, bucket and all. <laughs> By the time they reached the tournament, Jacob and Kieran were predictably miserable. But for reasons you should all be familiar with by now, they didn't complain. They added their names to the sword and buckler list and the spear list, avoiding the looks of confusion at their respective pole contusion and bucket foot, <laughs> and waited in the stables to be called. They watched in reverence as knights 30 years their senior were handily defeating the younger, less experienced knights. Much to their surprise, Jacob and Kieran were called to Sword and Buckler to fight each other. Kieran couldn't fit his helmet over his large contusion, and Jacob still could not extract his boot from its bucket prison. But this did not stop them both from entering the ring with... Dignity! Always dignity! The crowd bellowed with laughter. They jeered at these ridiculous figures, and before long, food was flying at them from the stands. Of course, there was no way to stop them. The tournament officials were busy with other things, and had no interest in supervising the fight. Kieran and Jacob could not keep hold of their weapons under the barrage, and soon they were flailing around disarmed. But of course, Kieran and Jacob had the one thing the crowd couldn't disarm them of. Dignity! Always dignity! Of what had been thrown, Kieran picked up an especially large carrot, and Jacob picked up a head of broccoli. They continued to trade blows until their vegetables gave out. <laughs> Kieran's carrot won out in the end. He was able to get several hits in on Jacob's side. The scorekeeper emerged behind the wall where he'd been hiding from the rain of produce and held up Kieran's arm. The day went on, and with their newfound confidence in their abilities, Jacob and Kieran climbed the bracket match after match. The day ended with Jacob being champion of spear and Kieran being champion of sword and buckler. They were awarded enough gold to buy two new horses, saddles, medical treatment for Kieran's head, <laughs> and a blacksmith to extract Jacob's boot from its bucket. <laughs> Contented, they made their way home. Fifteen years later, 
Kieran and Jacob became the first joint kings of their kingdom, and had only one requirement of their court. Dignity! Always dignity!